Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to design a digital denture with cutout teeth. Let's get started. First, we're going to mark the pontics. This pontic wax up. Define it with acrylic. Scan pre up. If we have it, we can do it. But I marked everything. No. Press shift. Mark the other tools and everything gets selected. Very important. I need to define everything as connectors because I'm going to mill out the T separately. Press save and go to design to import the scans. This is my base. I have to orientate it to the occlusal view. If it's done, press next. If you have a smile designer, you can use it. Now I'm creating the bottom. And I can change my teeth here, my libraries. I like the HD library. Mark the distal point of number three. It's about here. Rotate the arch to the distal point of number 14 and press next. I go right away to the chain mode. All the teeth are getting connected here. Bring the entire arch up first. And then I use my discs to drop down the molars. If you have a pre-up scan, it's much easier. Here in this demo case, I'm just freehanding everything. Just to demonstrate how it works. Bring it in the approximate position. Now I'm going to mark and lock in my interior so they stay in place and I lock in my molar so they stay in place. The animals are a little bit distal inclined, so I'm going to bring them over. This one is a bit longer. Go to simple mode just to bring it up a little bit. It's much easier. It's a little bit negative curve of speed here, so I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Bring the motor down and bring up the bicuspids. The curve of speed, the first bicuspid is usually the highest point in the curve of speed. Here, do the same thing. I could have stayed in chain mode and go to mirror. So I, have to, I don't know how to do everything. So I'll click next. Here I want to have the base at least a millimeter or two millimeters. Thickness, so I'm going to mark out at the most border. I mark the outline of my denture. Here we're going to mark the border between hard palette and soft palette. You can see the line. Done. Press next and we get a first view of um, how the ginger is getting created. That's our first proposal. <coughs> if I like it, I press next and I'm going to go up and do the fine tuning. I'm going to go first with the large and then the small region. When I'm done with that, I'm going to basically fill up the black triangles as a small region and a large region. Here I'm going to smooth everything out. You can press shift to flatten everything. It works a little bit faster. Or if you just want to flatten everything, or if you just want to smooth everything, just stay with smooth. If you're done, 
press next. Here that's important that you have connectors. I go to the bullet shape, go to four millimeters square, square millimeters and press apply to all. Because the whole arch is getting milled in one, so the T's are getting milled in one. So if you have if you don't have connectors in there, you have a bunch of separate T's you have to put together like a puzzle piece. So if you have everything connected, it's much easier to apply it into the denture base later on. And press next to generate the virtual wax up scan. <coughs> this is done. I can do my fine tuning. Here I get rid of scan first. I, I can do some finer tune here. So first now I'm gonna go, go to expert mode. In this case, you can stay in expert mode right away, and do the whole thing in expert mode, but here I'm gonna switch now to expert mode. So this one is merged now. And what I want to do here, I want to save the scene so I can go back to it. And I'm going to save it ready to cut scene. So you can, s you can save it in a separate folder where you have access to it right away. Don't save it into the system file because then you have to go to the database to reopen it or you have to find the file where you, where you saved it to. So I saved it in a separate folder. So once you did this, I'm going to go to delete and I'm going to delete the merge part. And I'm going to go to delete. You have to be in expert mode to so this. And I'm going to delete the ginger mm -hmm. part here because I don't need the general part here right now. So here I'm going to merge just the arch. So here I've just the arch and I'm going to make the jaw invisible. I'm going to save the merge jaw as an STL. And I name it Teeth to Mill. Because this is the teeth that I want to mill in whatever material you want to mill it, like PMMA, multi layer PMMA, or you can print it. Doesn't matter what you're going to do with it. So this can be closed now, the project. We don't need this anymore. We're going to load the scan. We're going to load the teeth that we want to scan. We don't have an antagonist. We, we press no. We use Pontic. That's important. Press Pontic. The number doesn't matter. Press next and finish it. Press next. Go to the one. Go to export mode right away. And create the virtual wax up bottom. Therefore, we have to turn it around so we can look at the basal. That is the insertion direction now, how the teeth are go into the denture base. So you want to have a nice insertion that's going to be easy for you. Set it and change the bottom at least to 110. Otherwise, you don't have enough gap. In this case, I, I, I I'm, I'm used 0.11. So it builds it around. I make the teeth, the four contact teeth invisible and I'm going to save the entire bottom as an STL. And I name it teeth to cut. The very important step is that you um, eliminate the teeth in this section. You want to have a clean mesh and not a double mesh. So no teeth in there. 
here. I saved the double because I want to save the scene. So once it's saved, I can basically close this project and next thing I'm going to reopen it right away again. I'm going to reopen the teeth to cut. Hold antagonist, no. Again, same thing, Pontic, finish. And here I go right away to expert mode. And right click on the empty space, go to edit mesh and circle around entire mesh, select straight through, must be marked, close the holes. So I have one solid mesh right now. Okay. <coughs> and I'm gonna save the scene as an SDL in my folder. Switch to SDL here is important. And tease to cut. Okay. Use original coordinates, it's important. So they're not free floating in the coordinate system. Yes, you can close the project. And now we're gonna open the scene of the full denture. Here it is. So right click into the empty space, free form, attachment, subtract, generic, scroll all the way down to load file and I'm going to open the teeth to cut, rotate. The teeth are here. And a little bit hole, it doesn't matter. We can click apply or OK if, if we do both. And then the teeth are getting cut out of the denture base. It might take a while. And there it is. the teeth I can save this so save the freeforming part so the teeth are getting cut out I already got my file of the teeth for mill I save this already as an SDL and this is my base I'm gonna save this base only I can save scene or or save to mesh um, if you save scene click um, SDL and I name this base to mill or base to print in this case i named it base to mill but i would actually print this one use original coordinate system so close this project and look at a mesh mixer just to see there they are the teeth are there separately these are separately and the denture bases are separately. So now you can glue them together with some light cure material and some special material that goes together. Thanks for watching.